professional commercial painter and Lennox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the Bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities, and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule an appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. Give it off to CJ gliding the basket out to free J. Hayes. Good. And Eric Glenn wants to stop the music. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. 
Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford. Siesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Siesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including Auto Owners Insurance, of course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your spot with Live Ticket TV. With over 65 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you find the right market. Plus, you can work with me, Heath, and a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town has changed. Yeah. About damn time. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials, W-E, we. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. 
Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kayla are the two stylists. They don't have specific hours but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota. Call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. If it's time for a new roof, maybe it's time we talk. Hi, I'm Scott Dorcas with Premier Systems Roofing. We offer free inspections and estimates, full labor and manufacturer warranties, and we are a preferred contractor for insurance companies. We've been a South Dakota company since 2002, serving the entire state, and we are proud to sponsor South Dakota sports and activities. Premier Systems Roofing, on time, on budget, and on call 24-7. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. Grossenberg has cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer for details. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers. Lead the field this season and beyond. Find your local crop consultant at NutrienAgSolutions.com. Ag Service Partners is your trusted company for Pioneer Seed, Chemicals, and Crop Insurance. Pioneer Seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field. Ag Service Partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance. Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Uh, 
All right, good evening, fans. Well, it's close to evening anyways. It's uh, about 4.30, so we're getting started pretty much right on time here uh, for the championship game of the Big East uh, tournament. The uh, last one. Um, we're going to roll through starting lineups. We've got Lily Seibert here. I'm Matt Storo. And it's Flandreau versus Sioux Valley. First with Flandreau, who's going to be the visitor on the scoreboard. We've got number 10, Lily Klein. Number 20, Morgan Shepard. Number 22, Sadie Lott. And one might assume that 32, Claire Shepard, is the other starter. I didn't see 30 out there. Was Lizzie Pavla starting? Was, did I misread a number? Yep, she's out there. I think okay. she was the last one. Okay, maybe she, maybe Her I missed a number then. Uh, I might have said that Morgan was starting instead of Lizzie, but it maybe was Lizzie Pavlis there. And let's go through the starters here for Sioux Valley. Um, coming off a very hot shooting night, as both Lily and myself are aware. Um, I guess for the sake of uh, a really good game here, I hope they stay hot and it's a fun game. Yep. We've got uh, number three, Isabel Bloker. Number 10, Talia Vincent. Number 23, Kira Cruzy. Number 12. No, we're going to go 32, Kaylee Craddock, and I didn't see their last starter. For this. I, 12 did not start. Uh, I think it's 24, Jada Knudsen. Okay, Knutson. Jada Knudsen was the yep. other starter. They're starting pretty big. That should be, a, you know, I think uh, we are both aware of the ability to shoot really well, but they do have size as well with Sioux Valley, so yeah. they, they can match up with them. But Flandreau's a really athletic team, too. Yep. They've Tall got, and lean and quick, so it's a they're obviously a tough matchup, but they do have the size to yeah, to bang tall with them inside. Players are also able to dribble the ball down. Yep. Um, so yeah, I think they're it's going to be a really good yep. game. Flandreau wins the tip here. Claire Shepard takes the lead up top, sitting in a little bit of a zone. Flandreau's trying to sit four high and sinking in the corners, moving around. Shepard with the ball in the wing once again. Valley comes out with the loose ball. You can see the number 22 for Flandreau City Lot is giving quite a bit of pressure to Isabel Bloker right away. Yeah, it's she's funny facing. there. She's uh, kind of face guarding down in the corner right below us, right where we can't really see very well. Yeah. So I didn't actually see. What was going on? I don't know how you did. That's good eyes. Yeah. <laughs> good eyes by Lily here. Um, do we have a jump ball there? Jump ball, yep. Okay, jump ball tied up and uh, going Sioux Valley's way again. Paying a lot of attention, yeah, to Bloker down here in the corner. Attack in the middle. Cruz is with the left hand. Can't get the roll. Flanders going to look to push the ball quite a bit. Swing around. They, this, both teams just do a really good job of moving the ball, which always makes things difficult. And Shepard, when you got that in the corner, it's nice to have. Taking a 3-2 to two game here. Flyers take the lead. Kind of set up. Playing some man. Cruzy drilling out of the corner. Just kind of want to reverse the ball. Get it out of this one side of the court. We're back on the right side once again. Could have called a push off maybe there. Yeah. We get to the top and we come right back to the right side. It did get a good little dump pass there. We did reverse the ball and we got a basket. How about that? It's a lot of movement there. I didn't see the shot clock. What were we at there? Oh, uh, I guess I didn't see either. But Flandreau returns. Or and, it's, and it's Wash, yeah, washed yeah. away there with a the big three. Number ten, Lily Klein. That's that's the painful thing there. Sioux Valley runs thirty seconds of offense, gets a great bucket, and Flandreau runs five seconds of Skips offense and just yep. crushes it. 
A little bit of contact there, but nothing too bad. It's pretty good straight up and down. Nice shot there by Vincent. Yeah. And Flander just gets down real quick. Both teams are responding right back to each other. Yeah, Shepard with another one. Face guarding down here again. And I mean, Bloker's probably just fine with that as long as they keep scoring like they are without her. Yeah. Sioux Valley's doing a pretty good job of drive, hitting those gaps on their drives. They just, they aren't really committing to them though to attack the the basket really after they get there they're just kind of settling for kicking it out which yep. is working just fine they're just not um, stressing uh, they're not taking it all the way there yet we'll, yep. we'll see what uh, I mean as we're aware a lot of good height for Flandreau yep. so you know the odds aren't necessarily in your favor but it's nice to try to see what can what can happen maybe somebody gets in foul trouble mm -hmm. um, but Sioux Valley is uh, doing a pretty good job of what they're doing um, as Dora was talking here, I think it was number 12, Liberty Trigstead for Sioux Valley, checked in. Um, yeah, she, she had, had a really good game good last night. night. Last yeah. night, yep. yep. She had 18, 19 points. Um, so. A little scoring off the bench for him. Kind of, kind of. I mean, we knew who she was, but she yep. uh, really kind of surprised us a little bit. Mm-hmm. Swinging around and just hitting that backside ever so easily. But Sioux Valley recovered really nicely there. Um, was able to knock that away and live to see another play here. One thing, it's been a little while since we played Flander. That was back in December, early on, maybe yep. mid-December there. Yep. Sioux Valley, obviously, we're very, very fresh in our minds right now. But, you know, the one constant that with Flandreau is just the size and their quickness and everybody mm -hmm. can shoot, every 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 spot on the court can score. Yep. Play good defense. They, they yeah. make it look really easy sometimes. Like, you kind of think maybe they're not trying that hard, but they just make it look easy yep. just with how well they play. So Valley's just there almost there, you know. Flandreau's size and quickness is making them spread out. They're almost at half court running their offense. Yeah. Trying to space it out, which is good, which is what you got to do with all that size, especially if they're going to play man. Just spread them out. It's just it's hard to score from the half court line. And there it goes, right off the bench like you called it. Bucket yeah, for think, Trigstad. I think Flandreau's making it hard for Bloker to get the ball. Um, I don't think she's touched it many times yet. Yeah, here's a chance I for guess. in transition, but there's there's the younger Shepard, right? Yep. There Morgan Shepard hops off. on her, and you know that's I. Uh, she's got a great shot, obviously. Mm -hmm. It just it, sometimes when you know when you try to rush it and you really force it, it gets it gets to be a difficult shot. A little extra stress on you. You're trying to really help your team, and sometimes that's how you feel you can help best, and you just pushing it that's the last thing you can have is letting Flandre hit the glass just because they're they're just yep. too efficient yep they're crashing the boards very tall and strong and I think that's two offensive boards there by uh, mm -hmm. Shepard and her younger Shepherd. sister <laughs> double trouble it's a good attack. Just kind of, you know, that size just alters that shot a little bit. You want to, yep. she just got it up as quick as she could to try to surprise him and laid it a little bit short. Ooh, good block there. A few blocks there. Yep. Another offensive board for the yeah. Flyers. That's the problem. It still found the purple team for him. That's down to 10 on the shot clock. That might have been one of their longer possessions there, actually. Yeah. White's going to get the ball back. Sioux Valley ball. 
Number 14, Hannah Kroll checks in for the Flyers. Um, she went in for 22, Sadie Lott, who was supposedly face guarding Isabel Bloker, and yep. it looks like 14 yep. is going to do the exact take same over. thing. Yep. Yep. Good observation. Yeah, she's, I mean, that can be draining defensively. And when we played Flandreau, Sadie Lott, she had a really good, she had a really good day against us, um, yeah. as did a couple other girls as well. But, you know, she wasn't necessarily focused on defense like she is today. I don't know if she's done as much quite offensively yet. Yeah. But more importantly, she's maybe shutting down their best, best yeah, option. she's very lengthy and quick yeah. to the ball, so. Yeah, Flandreau's got a, a few girls that could probably do that and they could rotate around very nicely. Yes. Look here. Just bounces out and you know, Sioux Valley might have had that board, but I guess it's fortunate that it just went out of balance and they didn't have to work too hard to get that board. Lily mm -hmm. Klein, just a little long right off the back of the rim. I'm not sure what we got going on here where somebody's got uh, it looks cut. like number thirty two Claire Shepard need, uh, has a bloody nose down by the bench here. Yeah, okay. Um not sure if there's gonna, yeah. We're gonna get a little bit of clean up, yep. I see maybe a, a tiny bit, but nothing too bad. Well, if it's a little delay here, folks, and that works out nicely for uh, Shepard because I think she can get a little bit cleaned up quick and she doesn't even have to go to the bench. Yep. It's just uh, kind of a sixth timeout for both teams here. Real brief one, but obviously you know that while you're running up and down, it every little break helps. Yep. Shooting free throws is a little mini timeout. Now Looks we're going like to get our trainer, Tyler Hagen, out there with Avera. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have to clean the floor, but maybe he's going to have to do that too, I guess. Oh, yeah, I see one yeah, little dot guy. on the floor. Yeah, that was the dot I saw too. <laughs> Tyler to save the day. Yep. And it looks like be, yep. somebody did check in for Claire Shepard. Okay. Um, I think she still needs to get a little bit, little bit cleaned up. It's on her yeah. hands and stuff, so I think Tyler's going to go help her out maybe yeah they might have also said that with the stoppage in place she had to actually come just, out even yep. though they had to clean the floor mm -hmm. just for a few minutes yep yep we'll see how fast she goes back in i guess a little window there catch turn shoot just a little bit long good effort by uh bloker to try to save that but yep. just a little long we're kind of been at a standstill here we're inside a minute it's about 11 to 10. Flyers are leaving the Cossacks. I just kind of learned last night that you're supposed to kind of add yeah. the Z emphasis, which is I nice to know. That too. Ooh, we got a wide open in the corner, but when you're that tough inside, you don't even need to kick it out. You just keep going. What an attack there! Um, that's that's a Pavlis or a yep. yeah, number yeah. thirty Lizzie Pavlis. Yeah, she had a really good day against us back in December. Twenty mm -hmm. points, eight boards, two assists, and twenty six minutes. Yep. Um, tough, tough post presence for him. Yes. I think she can kind of do more than that. Just that's all she's really asked to do some days, probably. Yep. So it is day three for everybody playing. Flanders maybe had a little bit. Um, more rest, just maybe gotten deeper into their bench the last couple days. Sioux Valley's maybe had to play a little bit uh, more minutes on their starting five. So it'll be interesting to see as we go. I think it's uh, looking like everybody's fresh right now, mm -hmm. but we'll see and as we go. Number 10, Taylor Vincent. She was uh, yeah. just a little jumper there. Yeah, that was nice. Nice little runner in the lane. Gonna get a buzzer beater here maybe. Ooh, no friendly roll in the fourth quarter. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break here, and uh, we'll be back with the second quarter here shortly. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? 
family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs. There's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technician. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, welcome back. We are in the second quarter here in Beersford, South Dakota with the Cossacks trailing the Flyers. 12 to 14 in the Big East Championship game. It is the final Big East Championship game, at least for the time being. Anyways, maybe someday it'll come back, but mm -hmm. um, this is the last one. Kind of a cool deal. Glad that uh, we get to host it. Yep. Wish we were playing right now, but me too. Wish the best for these two teams as well. So here yep. we go. Claire's got it up top, swinging it over to the left side, back up top to Shepard, swinging to the right. We've got good movement. Just. Sioux yep. Valley was moving open. well too, but yeah, they opened up the bank yeah. and stole my line. <laughs> I don't know if scoreboard changed yet. I mean, it should be 16. There we go. 16 to 12. Flyers are up. Ball stays tipped out of bounds. Did we the Bloker still in? I think, yeah, she, yep. yep. Um, Sadie Lotz back on uh, Bloker doing some face guarding or at least just some over aggressive defense just trying to keep the ball out of her hands yep sometimes uh two different reasons you do it i feel like you know some it's to just legitimately keep it out of their hands sometimes it's just to fluster a little bit yeah can kind of work hand in hand uh, bloker's a junior she, you know she's scored a thousand points just the other day she's pretty uh pretty collected i feel like it, Flandreau just uh, forced Sioux Valley to take their first time out. Uh, it's a full time out. We're going to go to commercial break, okay? If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous... Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, welcome back. Flyers just went on a 4-0 run to start the second quarter with uh, still 7.02 left, and Sioux Valley hadn't used a timeout yet, so they were quick to take one of those um, to slow things down, and we're back in action here. Yeah, Vincent taking it up, a little attack to the right wing, hand off to Craddock, back to the top to Vincent. Really right heavy again, we're, we're yep. crossed it just as I said, I spoke too soon. <laughs> you know, as a as a coach, you just kind of watch and I feel like when the ball swings both sides, more often than not that shot falls and it just didn't fall there. Mm -hmm. Just. Good ball movement. You can't front them because they're a good passing team. They'll just get that pass right over top, and they're and they're tall too. So that was a good stop there by Sioux Valley, though. Both teams, yeah, are looking to move the ball a lot. Good attack, just kind of fade away. Didn't didn't drop in there for Craddock. Lily Klein brings it up. Is uh, Lily Klein? Uh, she's a senior. She committed to. Do you believe it's Northern, Northern believe. State is where we think yep. she maybe is going? Um, and Good then for her. Lizzie Pavlis, who just got the and one, um, she is committed to Dakota Wesleyan and Mitchell. And then Claire Shepard, another senior, is committed to South Dakota State. Okay, well, very good. All, all three schools should be uh, happy to be uh, getting yep. those players. Good stuff. 
And right on cue, Claire Shepard gets the offensive board and lays it in with the left hand. Sioux Valley's not slowing down though, good attack. They're running a little bit of a dribble drive action. Sometimes they just gotta peek in a little bit harder. Sometimes you get around that corner and, and, and mm -hmm. just go for the handoff, but it, it's there, the lane's there, go ahead and attack. Yep. Thinks about setting a screen there on Shepard. Back in the corner here, drive into the middle. Just never ending. Straight up and down there, defense. With the left hand, Trickstad just didn't get the roll. We are 22 to 12, Flyers lead with 5.17 left to go in the second quarter. Shepard at the high post to her sister, kicks it out and just off the edge of the rim for no good there. Oh. A deflection by Lily Klein. Oh, we're, we are uh, we're letting them play. I would say I'm not. I'm not saying that everything needs to be called, but they, you know, a little bit of contact there. Yeah. Just had one foul called here in the first quarter. I think they're doing a pretty good job, though, as we saw in the last game. That you know, let them both teams play for the most part. Miscommunication there by the Cossacks. Yeah, just a uh, yeah, frustrating play, but the, sh the game goes on. Hopefully, uh, mm -hmm. you can get back in rhythm here and keep attacking the basket. Yeah, Claire does have a little bit of a uh, nose situation there. She's yeah. got some gauze or something like that to try to keep it under control. Not exactly sure how that happened either. Yeah. I don't think I really saw her get yeah, hit, nope. hit, but maybe she did. Yeah, maybe on one of those uh, offensive board putbacks, she got elbowed or something or bumped. Yep. You know, when you, I mean, I don't, I don't think she's too worried. I don't think she's trying to win any beauty contests or anything like that. <laughs> she's okay. Yep. Hopefully, somebody's getting some good pictures. Those are always fun to look back at. Yeah. The younger Shepherd's going to take it out of bounds on the flanger side of the court here. Up top, oh, we got a dead ball here. Corner is it? There's Hannah Crow on the right side. I haven't said her name very many times. Um, she did play 23 minutes against uh, us back in December back mm -hmm. in Flandreau. So she's a key cog, plays a big role. I want to say she was a uh, one of their starters. Yeah. Um, because then uh, Morgan Shepard, yeah, she was the one to come in, but I think they flipped maybe flipped. a little bit. Yeah, yep. she. I do remember she for sure did start back mm -hmm. in December, and but I feel like she's still I, getting uh, yeah, about yep. as much playing time as yep. she would if she started. Um, and I, I, I bought absolutely botched the starting lineups as I couldn't. You know, as soon as the lights went out, I couldn't see numbers yeah. anymore, and I was just kind of like, okay, so she might have started, she might not. I don't know. Yeah. This is, a, this is a deep, strong Flanger team. They're, uh, they're, if, you're, if you're on the varsity team, you're probably a pretty quality player. So yep. nothing to scoff at if you're not starting. Oh, he got her the ball. They're really attacking that dribble drive. It's, Kind of fill and replace, swing around, up top, Craddock reverses course. That's really the first time I've seen him do run the dribble drive and actually reverse course. Um, yeah. You had a couple nice ones last game where you uh, took it to the inside and spun back out, got a couple easy baskets. Yeah. Um, they almost had the same result there, yeah. just they recovered a little bit better. Sadie Lott, number 22, is doing good at getting back because one more second and Isabel yep. Blocher would have gotten another shot off, but it looks like she did anyway. Yep. But it was blocked. Yep, they they both should be very aware because they both like to get out and, and run. So yep. they you know if they're on the right uh, mindset they know they gotta they gotta get back. Mm -hmm. Stop what they have success with as well. Yeah. Sister wanted the ball back, so 
Morgan gave it to her, just rimmed out. Good look, good action, good crisp passing game from Flandreau. And mm -hmm. once like, again, we're back at kind of a, we're stuck at 24-12 yeah. here. Sioux Valley needs to get a bucket here soon. Mm -hmm. Vincent's gonna bring it up. This is probably one of the few times we haven't seen a, it run down the floor right away. Just yeah, yeah, that was a slow, set up walked it up. Or, yeah. Yep. Coach yeah, yeah. Granham, yeah, usually has some good sets, good things he's, he draws up for him, mm -hmm. so you yep. kind of start to expect those types of things when they bring it up slow a little bit. Yep. Sitting in that uh, kind of a 2-3 zone. Just making them rotate around, and unfortunately, it doesn't feel like you're making them really because they're just that good of a passing team. Mm -hmm. so they thrive off it almost. That pass to the corner and opposite flashing in has been mm -hmm. there for Flandreau a lot of this game. And I remember that's what it was for when we played them as well. Yeah. Um, so. That is Lily Klein at the line for Flandreau, who got fouled at the basket. First free throw just bounces out. We've got two minutes left in the second quarter before halftime. Gets the second one to roll. It's 25-12. We're going to use our uh, second time out here for Sioux Valley. We're just going 30 seconds, so we'll stay here. Um, what, uh, what type of adjustments do you think we're going to get here from Sioux Valley, Lily? Cut in from the pass to the corner. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's going to do something defensively, possibly, adjusting that way, or um, yep. yeah, trying to get more looks on offense because they're, yep. one of their best scores is getting face guarded, so they need more options. Yep. So. Yep, they just need to try to get some more people involved. And, mm -hmm. um, not that they're, I mean, a lot of people are touching it, really. Yeah. That dribble drive stuff. They and they've gotten just, good looks. It just hasn't fallen quite yet. Just got to keep attacking. Keep attacking. Yeah. It's hard when not maybe just a, not a lot of fouls have occurred or not a lot of fouls have been called yet. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Yep. Um, you know, that's the thing. Flanders is not really playing multiple defense right now or anything like that. So it's yeah. a little bit frustrating because you're just trying to run into a brick wall a little bit right now. So much ball pressure creates a turnover and we're going back the other way. Be interesting to see what, what maybe Sioux Valley tries here on defense, if they're going to maybe uh, throw something at them a little bit differently. They, they have slowed them down a little bit here lately, yeah. but they're still getting really good looks. Um, going corner, we got pose, look in, high, low, and just too He's smooth. And quick ball but movement is... What's getting them all their yep. looks right now? Yep, they're uh, just moving that ball around well. Sioux Valley's doing a nice job of of recovering and getting there. It's just then the next play happens, and it's just hard to continue to recover. Can't help the helper an unlimited amount of times. Yeah. Look for Trigstead at the top of the key, and that would, that would have been a big shot if that could have dropped in for him. A little momentum going into half here. Got a minute left. You just get a couple buckets here. Got Kroll swings it up to the top. Back to Kroll. You got Claire Shepard with the ball in the corner. Looking in. Pavlis gets swatted, and we're going the other way. She might go all the way here, coast to coast. Kicks it out, and but guess who? Claire Shepard's there to tip it away nice and make pass. a beautiful oh, pass for the left-handed layup. There's just something beautiful about a bounce pass like mm -hmm. that, Lily. Yep. A little bit rushed there. Just a little long on the three with a hands in the face, of course. Flanders see if they hold for the last shot here. Swing it over to Kroll in the wing. Back up top. Back to Kroll, try to get her a three here. Whoa. Nice to have that coming off the bench there. Big three right before half, and we're going to go to halftime 32 to 12. Yep. And uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. For student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. 
At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule an appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. Give it off to CJ gliding the basket out to free J. It's good. And Eric Lemon wants to stop the music. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford. Fiesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Fiesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including Auto Owners Insurance, of course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your spot with Live Ticket TV. With over 65 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you find the right market. Plus, you can work with me, Heath, and a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town has changed. Yeah. About damn time.
This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials. W-E. We. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand. Are you ready over there? All right, we are we are back here in Beersford High School, and we've got uh, Jared Olson on the line. We're going to talk a little bit of wrestling from up in uh, Brookings. Jared, are you there? Yeah, Matt. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure to give an update here on the Beersford Elsesser Hudson Rams Day at Brookings High School. Yeah, awesome. How are how's everything going up there? How's everybody doing? We got about three minutes on the clock here, and we can we can run a little bit into the second half if we need to. Yeah, and I'll give a quick update. We are still in placing rounds here, so kind of finishing up the day. But at 106 pounds, Owen Sirk finished in seventh. At 113 pounds, Bennett Farley with an eighth place finish. Uh, we just had a really exciting triple overtime third place match. Um, with Dexon Miller getting third place. And he had a multi-overtime match earlier in the day, so uh, Dexon really had a full day of wrestling with all the extra periods. So great job there with a third place finish. At uh, 126, Kate Lyle with a seventh place finish. And then two wrestlers we still have alive and uh, to wrestle yet. And uh, up any minute here will be Jensen Christensen. He's wrestling for seventh and eighth. And then uh, shortly after that will be Robert Watkins. He's going for fifth and sixth today on the boys' side. And currently, I think looking at the team standings, uh, they were right in uh, like 14th place, only down by a couple points. So if uh, we can pick up a few more here, we can kind of slide in that you know 12th or 13th place position out of 20 teams here today in Brookings on the boys' side. So pretty good showing from the Rams. Awesome. That's good to hear. We're here. Uh, we're in game four, the the championship game. Flandreau's up thirty-two to twelve here, so we've got some some good action going on here as well. And glad things are going right. pretty well up in Brookings. Thanks for yeah. Uh, then the uh, man, I'll hit you on the yeah. girls. Yeah, I'll yeah. hit you on the girls side as well. Uh, Lily Lily Bowden with a fourth place finish for the Rams, and then uh, Reese Olson with a uh, and Lily Bowden wrestles at a uh, hundred pounds. And then Reese Olson, a second place finish at 132 pounds. And we have a few uh, listeners, I'm sure, from Cossack country. And they'll be glad to know that uh, defeating Reese in that 132 pound match is uh, the number one seeded uh, Summer Guthmiller. So Summer Guthmiller is the champion for the Cossacks at 132 okay. pounds today. And that was Reese. Reese was the runner up that, in that match, you said? That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, Cossacks got us. Shucks. Yep. Yeah, right, no, well. good good match, and uh, so it's been a good day, and uh, best of luck to you guys uh, finishing up the Big East Conference Tournament. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, and safe travels back, okay? All right, very good. Thanks, man. Yeah. All righty. And we're gonna, we'll stay live here. Uh, we've got Easton Boom joining joining the broadcast here. Um, Easton, what did you think in the first half? You know, I was... Uh, I was trying to uh, watch the game while um, trying to help back here in the booth. But from the looks of it, Flyers came out to a slow start, and then they started to pick it up right now. So it seems like it's Flyers' game to lose. If, they're, if they slow down and continue what they did in the first period and they let the Cossack, uh, Cossacks come up and catch up here, there's a chance they come out way and lose this yep. game. I mean, height's a big advantage, so if they yep. just – they keep playing and put a decent pace up. They can take away with this game. Yep, and, and yes, we're we're considering a uh, 
a slow start, uh, 14 points in the first quarter. So they had a, you know, I think I think a couple things happened. Uh, Sioux Valley had a more of a fast start too, and there was just really a lot of back and forth. And then they've just kind of cooled off, and Flandreau just kept on strolling along. I mean, 32 points, pretty pretty solid first half. Um, Kazakhs had a really good first quarter. They need to kind of pick up where they left off in that first and kind of just forget about that second quarter. I think they need to try to, it's hard, you try to find a way to get that ball into Bloker's hands, but at the same time, you know, it's difficult when they're when they're face guarding and making it difficult. They got a um, lot of height. In. Yep, yep, a lot of height. Um, they've done a good job off, uh, defensively, I think, of uh, working around that. The Sioux Valley has, it's just that uh, Offensively, it's led to a lot of steals and tip passes and, and things of that nature. So, Flandreau with a steal to start the third quarter here, and they're attacking. That is uh, up top. We've got Shepard, swings it over to Shepard in the corner, down inside to Pavlis. A kick out, and in the corner, we've got Sadie Lott with the missed three, but Flandreau picks up the offensive board, kicks it back out. Lily Klein with the missed three and another rebound by number 22, Sadie Lott. And we're just kind of on repeat right now, it feels like. And until now, Kira Cruzy with the defensive board for Sioux Valley, and we're headed the other way. Bloker's got it in her hands. A nice drive and kick, but just nobody was in that window to, to snag that for a nice shot. Ooh, nice three from... Um that. That's Craddock. Yep, Kaylee Craddock in the in the corner there, uh, freshman for Sioux Valley. That was a beautiful three by her. Absolutely. That was big. They really needed that. It's 15 to 32 now. If they can get a little run, maybe a little run here. Oh, just uh, you know, just lost verticality there and gets that foul called. Um, Kaylee Craddock's a, a freshman, so she'll continue to learn and get better. And, and it's tough because you're, you're trying to trying to make a play. First free throw is good from Lizzie Pavlis. It's 33 to 15 here in the third quarter. And again, 34-15 going the other way. Craddock's actually going to bring it up here with a little bit of uh, not really pressure, just kind of waiting to pick her up at half court there. Up top, Vincent's got it on the top, swings it to the right side to Cruzy, back up top to Bloker got, oh, I like that. That's a nice little dump. A good little wrinkle. Snuck Cruzy underneath after she brought it up and uh, moved the ball well and found her for an easy bucket. A little bit of a pressure zone there. Not as much of just their, their, the two, three they maybe were running the first half, but still a bucket nonetheless. Pushed up to the left side by Vincent. Really get, shifting uh, Shepard there a little bit back and forth, but ultimately gave way kicks it out over to Bloker to Vincent up top attack in the middle but oh. just Cruzy was sliding to the corner and Vincent didn't know that she kicks it up to the wing and nobody's home Flandre up 36-17 here in the third quarter of the Big East Championship game Shepard's got the ball up top Shepard again up top, back to Shepard on the left side, drives but left baseline, goes up, but good straight up and down defense by Cruzy to uh, avoid a basket. Pushing the ball, and Flandreau's always, they're just sitting on their, they're always ready, right? They're always looking for the ball. Almost a fast break there. Just a tip out of bounds, though. Sioux Valley retains possession here. They're setting up here in a box. Gonna have a corner here. Slide now. Pop into the wing. We got the ball on the left side. Over to Craddock on the right side. She's looking to attack the left side. It's a good, decent matchup for her. Size-wise, right? Oh, almost tipped in there by uh, Flandreau. Shepard's got the ball on the left wing. Uh, just a miscommunication. Bloker's attacking middle. She's got Vincent in the right corner. It's just that's probably a smart decision to pull out there. Don't want to get in too much of a rush. Vincent stops, kicks over to Craddock on the right side. Trying to get 
Head of steam into the lane, kicks it out. Cruzy with the ball, nice little pump fake to get him up in the air and just doesn't fall in. It's probably about five or six shots that have just rimmed right out. Yeah, a tough low break there. Yeah, that it would, would make a big difference in the score right now, but that's the way the game goes. Oh, Ooh. again, and this another, well, that was tipped away, I guess. I thought, I thought we had a miscommunication there, but. But both, both a little bit of miscommunications on both sides. Yep. Starting the box. Just going to have a kick to the corner and then looking into Shepard. She just faces up and back iron. Bounces out. Craddock gets the board, pushing it up the court. Vincent looking to attack here. Oh, a little trap. Again, she was looking to go to the corner there to Cruzy and, and uh, Flandreau jumped in the passing lane and she couldn't throw it. Yeah, it took she a tried to sell it. A little too much there. The thing, Flandreau does a really good job of, you know, they they do give up some ground to the basket, but they are always still in between them and the basket, and they're just their length is so great that you know it's still a really tough shot if you're going to try to attack that. Mm -hmm. Smart way to play. Back cut here, Craddock cuts in, doesn't get it. Vincent's got it up top, swings it over to Bloker. They're not doing as much face guarding here. Getting the ball to her a little bit more, but she's still yet to score, I believe. Yep, she's still sitting at zero points, which after having 27 last night, is a tough pill to swallow. She's got the loose ball, taking it up. Nice little turnaround, just couldn't get it to drop, but a nice board by Kira Cruzy. And Bloker once again has it, kicks it out to Vincent. Vincent for three is no good. Shepard grabs the board and is pushing up the middle. This is a fast-paced game still. Swings it over to the right side to Kroll. Back inside to Shepard. Shepard takes a dribble and a drive and just can't get it to go. She's maybe looking around wondering where the foul call was, but, it, it, but it, uh, it's not there right now anyways. Thought it was pretty... pretty uh, Highly contested play. Tips off Shepard, and we're going to Sioux Valley. We're going to have a timeout here for Flandreau. Um, we are we're going to take a full timeout, so we're going to go to commercial break, folks, and we'll be right back with you in a minute. And solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam... Hey, welcome back to Beersford here, the Big East Championship game. We've got Flandreau leading 36-17 to 17 in the third quarter. Um, Sioux Valley's got the ball here. They're going to bring it up. Vincent's running point right now. They're going to look like they're going to set up in a little box. Go to the right side. Probably a back cut, maybe. Come oh, Okay. Oh, a couple hit the deck there. I think they just ran into each other. No, yeah. I didn't see anything too dirty or anything like that. So play on, officials say. Trying to turn that corner and just so quick to move. Ooh. Like they're gaining ground. They're getting a little closer, but they still are in between. And right on cue, Claire Shepard blocks a shot. And Flandreau slows it down after looking, pushing and seeing if they've got anything. Very good patience. 
as we've mentioned a few times, just a really strong passing game from Flanders. Makes everything look really easy. Yeah, they they use the height well, give them some give some out of reach passes for the defenders of the Cossacks here. Just a nice dump in to Havlis, the five eleven senior for another bucket, and that puts her at eleven in the game. Um, as I'm looking up, I'm seeing uh, the Flandreau starting five, I believe, are in, and they have one foul out there. Tavlis oh. has the only foul. And there's a nice attack by number 10, Lily Klein, the 5'11 senior. Great breakaway bucket right there. <laughs> Can she get the and yep. one? In the first half, we had Lily Sivert on the, on the call, and she had mentioned that Lily Klein was was committed to go to Northern State is what she was thinking. So hopefully we're accurate with that. I, I think I trust that Lily was. Just if we're not accurate, it's just an honest mistake. My dad went to Northern State. Did he? Yep. Went in the way to play uh, football for the pros in Germany. Oh, there we go. Good offensive board by Sioux Valley. Oh, just tough to score against Claire Shepard there. And Shepard brings it up, checks to see what they got, and patiently pulls it out and moves the ball around. Flandre just patiently swinging it around, making Sioux Valley play a lot of defense, making a move. Ooh. Steps through, and a beautiful oh. finish from Claire Shepard for two. That gives her 14 on the day. Looked like, uh, remind me a little is bit it of the day or is it the night here? I think it's night now. Okay. I struggle with that. Trigg said with a nice drive, nice left-handed drive. Gets fouled. She's going to go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on number 14, Hannah Kroll. I think you can classify this as night. I think we're at night now, yep. Five o'clock mark. First free throw just off. We'll do it again here. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Flanders up 43 to 17. Make it 18 for the Cossacks. Shepard inbounds to Klein, and we're at midcourt here with 35 seconds left. Shot clock's at 28. Using that short corner, dumps it in. Pavlis, very unselfish, has a good look, but kicks it out to the corner, and why not? Right, why not? Ball swings all the way around to the other wing, and three is good from Shepard, who's up to 17, which I believe is our game high right now. Lily Klein's at 13 points, while Pavlis is at 11. I think Pavlis has shot about six shots is all to get those 11 points. Nice little drive there by Trickstad. I didn't even realize that the buzzer was gonna go, and she got it off for two, and. It's 20 to 46. We're going to go to a commercial break here before the uh, final quarter of the day. Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kayla are the two stylists. They don't have specific hours but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota, call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. If it's time for a new roof, maybe it's time we talk. Hi, I'm Scott Dorcas with Premier Systems Roofing. We offer free inspections and estimates, full labor and manufacturer warranties, and we are a preferred contractor for insurance companies. We've been a South Dakota company since 2002, serving the entire state, and we are proud to sponsor South Dakota sports and activities. Premier Systems Roofing, on time, on budget, and on call 24-7. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, welcome back. We are entering the fourth quarter of the championship game here. Um, if you have not signed up yet for the Frostbite 4, that's on February 10th. You can search uh, Frostbite 4 on Facebook to find some more information or a way to sign up. Um, it's the 25th year, so hopefully it's uh, 
I don't know. Can it be a nice day for the Frostbite 4? I don't know. In, in uh, February? It sure can. I, I've seen a couple of those, and okay. I went out last year, and I took pictures for them, and it was really nice out. Okay. Shepard with two, as we're talking about uh, running running long distance here. Quick sprint down and a pass right off of Lot actually. On side runs. Yeah, no, I... I, I uh, Kind of, kind of joking, but yeah, there are sometimes nice days in February. Just there are. The the definition of nice is just a little bit different at that point in the year, right? Yeah. Speaking of running, I wonder if Bloker's going to go run the Frost by Four. Is she a, is she a pretty good runner? She's a cross okay. country. She's okay. a good track and cross country runner. Cool. Didn't know that. You can mm. always tell who the runner is on the basketball court. You can see by their form. They just they run it. Just great running form. Okay. Mm hmm. I'll have to keep a little bit better eye out for that. And going for three there, just off the mark for Trickstad. Run and gun here for Flandreau. The rare rare time they've actually uh, taken a chance on that. Usually they've just pulled it out and kind of reset their offense and gotten a better look maybe. Ooh. Offensive foul. Uh, Trickstad, I think, picked up the foul. Um, some good defense there. Um, just just a little, just couldn't quite stop, I think, as she attacked. And, I mean, you know, she's been dri driving that left-hand side for a while, so I think maybe Flandre caught on and just finally threw the brakes on once. Maybe there was some acting to it, but I, I don't know about that. It looks like... It depends on where you're from. She if you're from Sioux Valley, maybe. If you're from Flandre, no. Right? Yeah. Swings to the corner. Swing it back to the high post to Shepard. Younger Shepard, just an eighth grader, I believe. She sure is. So she's got a few years left of this, while uh, Big Sister's just in her final one here before she goes to SDSU next year, I believe. Kicks it over to the, speaking of the younger, Shepard gets Ooh. the incredible bounce. Oh, fuck it. These rims are typically not that forgiving, but uh, they let that one roll in. That was a nice shot, some good touch. Uh, Sioux Valley's gonna keep it down on their baseline. We are at a 33 point lead here and the clock is running now. Um, so we'll have a running clock and so this time will go pretty quick folks. Five second call and Flandre will take over there. So Shepard's going to bring it up. So Valley's trying to trying to get in those passing lanes and they did a good job maybe sailed that pass a little bit high bounced it right off her hands out of bounds the rare rare mistake there from Flandreau today yeah I mean I Flandreau was in the state tournament last year I would say they're uh, they're gonna be moving to 13 and 0 here unless uh, Sioux Valley gets really hot here they did have a 25 point quarter yesterday so you never say never right but um, if they don't if that doesn't happen we're gonna be Looking at a 13-0, I believe, Flandreau Flyers squad led by head coach Megan Sievertson. Um, coming off a state tournament last year, uh, you know, I'm, I would say they got a good shot to go back and maybe do some do some damage there. It should be a good good rest of the season here, and we'll see what happens. Sioux Valley, a good little Ooh. fake there, but still, I think affected that shot down to one yeah. on the on the shot clock there. You know, Shepard jumped, flew off to the side a little bit, but just the length was able to still reach back in there and kind of affect that shot. Get you a little anxious. A tough, tough take to the basket. And as we've seen, they just haven't called a lot of fouls in this game, and that and that's fine. Um, we have oh one to zero, a big three there by uh, was that Craddock, thirty-two? Yeah, yeah, sure was. Yep, Kaylee Craddock, the freshman, the five ten freshman. She did have ten points and twelve boards in that first matchup against Beersford. Um, I, I don't have the numbers from last night's game yet, but um, I don't think she had 10 points. She she might have had that many rebounds, though. I you know I really don't know. She's tough. She should probably shoot yeah. some more threes. Yeah, she she's got a, She's a nice player. A loose ball bounces off the defender there, and Flanders going the other way, and just uh, kind of a little hesitation there to get to the hole, and scores over the uh, the uh, shorter bloker there. A little bit of a Good attack there. He had a, had a mismatch. Good decision. Mm -hmm. Always got to try to find the mismatch. Yep, find your mismatch and take advantage. And that's what we're. That's what's happening right there. And 
another three by Craddock. That's uh, her third one of the half, uh, at least, here. Um, we got a full time out here. We'll uh, go ahead and take a commercial break. We'll be right back. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. Grossenberg. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, welcome back. Sioux Valley breaks the huddle early. They maybe just wanted to get a, get a quick chat in about something. They got about 10 seconds still on the clock until they're really going to get after them to be on the court. But just thought we'd uh, break early here just, just in case. Um, Flanders is going to get the ball down on the far end of the court. Coming our way. Um, we've got uh, three minutes and 13 seconds on the clock, and it will be running. 55-26, Flyers lead. Over to Curl on the right side. Just swinging it around top and sitting, waiting to find a seam maybe to go to. Going to have some patience here, try to get that clock to continue to roll. High low feed to the younger sister. Just a good deflection there by Craddock. Good defense by Craddock. Craddock probably doesn't typically get to be called the older player there, but she was guarding the, the younger Shepherd, so freshman and eighth grader there. The elder statesman on the court gets the uh, deflection and uh, the takeaway. Cruzy looking to attack on the right side. Yeah, just a little swat down. Oh. Just a little swat down there by Kroll to get the foul called. and um, Good call. Cruzy goes to the free throw line. 55-26 with the Flyers in the lead here in the championship game. I do not, uh, I'm not aware of uh, any trophy celebration or if we're going to have confetti, anything like that. Easton, are you aware? Is there anything going on? Fireworks? I don't think so. Maybe... Maybe uh, Owen Ronaldo or AD's got something up his sleeve. Maybe a little light show or something. Okay. Maybe, okay. maybe a cool yeah, announcement. Maybe, maybe something like that. Okay. Well, we'll have to just sit and wait here. I hope he like does a da break dance on the floor. That's yeah, fine. maybe. Maybe that will happen. And we are at 27 to 53 now. So probably making a couple subs. Have some not all f brand new faces on the court, but got a few new faces. So Liberty Trigstad out there. Uh, Flandre has subbed uh, quite a few uh, pl new players into the game. Still the younger Shepherd Kroll and uh, Lily Klein, I believe, is still. Uh, no, no, that's uh, that's Sadie Lott still in the game. Sadie's a junior. I haven't said her name a whole lot, but she was pretty instrumental in that first half. Um, she was she was in charge of face guarding uh, Isabel Bloker and did a really good job. And while that was you know a good first quarter for Sioux Valley, I think that was maybe a little bit frustrating too. And Flanders got the ball in bounds here with a minute 24 to go. And at this point, we're just kind of um, we're subbing in some new players from the bench and just kind of the, with the running clock now. It's just kind of a waiting game here. Um, obviously, you want to continue to play hard and try to see what you can make happen but it's just a uh, tough tough odds at this point Roger's getting involved there you got a ball pass to him there it's off of Roger on the sideline good to see him today heard him uh, cheering a little bit at the beginning of the girls game today it was fun to see fun to hear tip out right there Off number four. We've got Brooke Knutson for that one. Not sure if that is a, a sibling of Jada Knutson, the uh, number 24, or not, but that's Brooke my, is a sophomore. That's my favorite type of game whenever you see same last name, just other try siblings. To, just try cousins. to guess that, huh? Try yeah, it's usually out. it's the cousin game. 
Yeah. Good attack there by Trigstad to get two, and it's 29-53 with seven, six, five, four, and we're gonna run this one out. And Flandreau is your Big East champion in the final year of the Big East tournament. Anything you want to add, Easton, before we uh, hit the road? It was a great matchup, you know. Just, I mean, it's a really the, good the, first quarter. Yeah. They played hard, and yep. with Cossacks able to keep that first qu uh, first quarter really uh, close, allowed, yeah. you know, to seem that makes the game seem a lot, a yeah. lot. Pretty fun, you know. Yeah, Sioux Valley will probably see them again here soon. They have I, I don't have their their uh, remaining schedule in front of me, but they I'm guessing have another matchup before the end of the year. So uh, hopefully they can copy that first quarter over to the rest of the game and make it a really fun matchup the next time they face. But uh, thank you all for listening today. Hope you've had a good day of watching basketball. We've had fun uh, producing it from uh, Dog Bone Entertainment and Watch Dogs Live. This is uh, Matt Storo signing out with Easton Boom, and thanks for thanks for joining us. Is cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50